This first bowl contains vinegar. The second bowl contains oil. And this third one contains oil and vinegar that I emulsified together with an immersion blender. Now I've dyed them all red so that we can see them better. Check out what happens when I dip a garlic clove into each. Now the vinegar is very thin and you can see that it actually barely clings to it, only in small drops, mostly comes right off the garlic. The oil is a little bit thicker so it clings better but still mostly slides right off. The emulsion on the other hand clings beautifully. It's really thick and it sticks perfectly to the garlic. Now the reason that the emulsion is thicker is that the droplets of oil are dispersed throughout the vinegar and that interferes with its ability to flow. So if pouring vinegar is like the Tour de France and pouring oil is a fleet of race cars, Pouring a vinaigrette is like both of them using the same road at the same time. They get in each other's way and the whole thing slows way down. The more oil we add, the thicker the emulsion becomes. This mayonnaise is about 16 parts oil to one part vinegar. And as you can see, it's much thicker than our vinaigrette, which is three parts oil to one part vinegar. So for a rich buttery coating on spring vegetables, a vinaigrette that grabs every bite of your salad, or a thick clingy mayo, it pays to take the time and effort to emulsify. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.